Chicago, now the first major city to collect what's called the Netflix tax, raking in $2 million after imposing a 9% tax on companies like Sony and Fandango. The four-year-old tax, whose name comes from its target on digital streaming services, is gaining attention from other cities and states. So do we think this could catch on nationwide? Gary, I hope not. But, I mean, it's catching on in Chicago. I mean, this is just a manifestation of other taxes that have come down the road. I mean, we have a bag tax here now, too. Gasoline taxes are pretty ridiculous. So I just want to get this straight. It's really not very fun to talk about these amusement taxes because if I want to take my, my son and daughter to the movies and drive them there, I've got gasoline taxes to pay. If we stop at Walgreens and get snacks, we got bag taxes to pay. And then, oh, by the way, that amusement tax that they tag on to the movie tickets. So, therefore, that's not fun to talk about and, therefore, something that we're going to probably see sweep the country once they see how much money they're bringing in off people. Scott, how much Netflix are you and Jonathan watching out there in Chicago? <laughs> I mean, is it like it's all the Friends reruns the or something? Jack. They, they, they got to put a whole it's separate the tax. It's all movies you've done, Jack. <laughs> they, they, they put a whole separate tax on Netflix out there. And, and what I wonder for these policymakers is, why not just put this thing under the regular old sales tax. Usually you save a special tax for something that you think is evil. Like if you think cigarettes are evil. We got a high sales tax too. <laughs> Jack, we got a huge sales Highest tax in the country. too. That Highest this in the is, country. This is what's so offensive. They will find anything, they, <laughs> every event of life, they're going to find another way to tax. And it's a hidden tax. And it should be offensive to anyone, this notion that whatever you do, government can swoop in or we're going to tax it. When you talk about a free society, you're talking about freedom from government. And ultimately, people move with their feet. And what you're seeing, any of these high-tax locales, people, you know, with the exception of the uber-wealthy, literally have to get out of town, they can't afford to live here But anymore. it is interesting that these are so many blue cities basically have this constant quest for new taxes, whether it's soda taxes, bag taxes, right. whatever, and it really does come down to the sort of impossible economic problems that they've created by paying municipal unions too much, making too many promises down the road, and basically backing out all other public services, which now are falling apart. We, you know, Bill de Blasio wants to be uh, viewed as a CEO in any other sphere, he would be fired because he has not managed the city well. <laughs> Real quick, we only have 30 seconds. Jonathan or Scott, is there any tax Chicago has not taxed just yet? Anything they haven't done? <laughs> Well, to, to quickly to Liz's point, what they haven't done is cut spending, and that is going to come back and haunt you, every locale, whether it's municipality I, you guys, or federal government, unless I'm they do it. I'm waiting for the you, breathing tax, guys. You guys better go hope they don't start taxing handsome. You'll report. both be in trouble. Oh, that's the handsome nice. handsome tax. Thank you, Jack. Love your movies, buddy. <laughs> well, good luck with that city.